Hello everyone, this is Ron, once again for High Tech Legion, and this is the Enermax Conus, a mid-tower case that makes a point to providing high-end features for those with a limited budget. The Enermax Conus has a generously meshed front face for increased airflow, and the side panels are raised a few millimeters to provide additional space for cable management on the right side, while providing additional CPU cooler height clearance on the acrylic windowed left side. The front I.O. provides audio jacks for both microphone and headphone, a power and reset switch with hard drive activity and power LEDs right below them, and there's also a pair of USB 3.0 ports which has an internal 19-pin header. The side panels are held in place by thumb screws, therefore they are easy to remove and made further convenient by the fact that there are pull-out handles on each panel. Behind the front mesh is a pre-installed 120mm red LED intake fan and an additional 120mm fan can be installed below it. There's also a 120mm fan pre-installed in the rear for exhaust. There are 7 expansion slots with reusable covers and directly above them are 2 grommeted water cooling holes for users who want to install a 240 or 280mm radiator externally on top which is ideal since there is barely any room inside between the motherboard and the roof. The rubber-soled feet raise the conus 1.5 centimeters off the ground, providing sufficient clearance for air intake even on carpeted surfaces. In terms of dust filtering, the front mesh gets foam filters while the power supply and optional 120mm fan mounting area uses simple fine mesh film. To help with installation, the Conus comes with a fold-out user's guide and a small brown box containing the accessories, which include two Enermax branded Velcro ties, five zip ties, a motherboard debug speaker, a 19-pin USB 3.0 to 9-pin USB 2.0 adapter, a bag of screws, and two sets of drive rails, four pairs of which are for 2.5-inch drives, while seven pairs are for 3.5-inch drives. With the exception of video card installation, all mounting options are tool free and it's just a matter of sliding the device in place. The middle drive cage can be conveniently reconfigured. By default, it can house four 2.5 inch drives that for removing four screws that hold it in place, the left plate can be moved so that four 3.5 inch drives are now supported. The plate can be removed completely for maximum graphics card length support although it is not really necessary as even in the default position, a video card as long as the HD6990 can be installed. Since there is a CPU high clearance of 179mm, installing our large Fantex TC14PE was not a concern and in fact had a few more millimeters to spare. Despite the lack of rubber grommets, all the cables are organized and well routed, held neatly in place by cables tied around loops. The space is quite tight on the upper right hand corner however, especially when routing an 8 pin CPU power cable. So I suggest plugging this cable first before installing any large CPU coolers. Once everything is in place, the right side panel slides in easily as there is around 30mm of storage clearance for all the routed cables. If you are interested in reading the rest of the review, where I express more of my opinions on the Enermax Conus Mid Tower case, just click on the link in the description or go to hightechlegion.com. You can leave questions or comments down below. Visit us at Facebook, facebook.com slash reviews. Tweet at us at twitter.com slash hightechlegion or at hightechlegion. And you can also join our forums and participate in our daily activities. So hit subscribe for daily updates. And once again, this is Ron. Thanks for watching and I'm signing out.